Hello, fantastic fifth graders. In this video, we're gonna go over our math concept this week. We are working on division and using that traditional algorithm to divide numbers up to four digit dividends and two digit divisors. So remember, the division algorithm is like steps, taking steps to solve a problem. And we can use this silly little memory trick to help us remember the steps. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Five steps here. And the first letter of each of those uh, silly words helps us remember a step. We divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down repeating those steps until we have our final answer. In our division problem itself, we know that our dividend always goes under the house. The divisor goes on the outside when we use this division algorithm, and the quotient is our answer. When you're dividing, if you have um, any numbers left over when you have checked and there's nothing more to bring down, but your number down there at the bottom is at zero, that's what we call a remainder. So we can write remainders in more than one way. I'm gonna do a problem where we're gonna write the remainder as a mixed number. That means we'll write the remainder as a fraction. So let's take a look at this problem. We're going to be dividing 5,323 by 34. So 5,323 is my dividend. I'm gonna put that under the house. 34 is my divisor. So I'm gonna put it outside the house. And I'm gonna follow my steps for this division algorithm, which are down in the corner. Make sure to check those out if you need them. The first step is to divide. I start by thinking, I can't do five divided by 34, but I can take 53 and divide it into at least 34 pieces. So 34 is going to go into 53 just one time. One times 34 is 34. And I'm gonna do my next step, subtract. I subtract, looks like I need to do a little bit of regrouping so that I can subtract successfully here and I find the difference is 19. Next step is to check. Make sure that the number you have left on the bottom is smaller than your divisor. If it's not smaller than your divisor, your number on top in your quotient needs to be bigger. But this one is smaller, so we're good to continue. I'm going to bring down this two here. That's the next step. And now I start again. I go back to the top of my steps and I repeat them all until I have no more numbers that I can bring down. So now we're looking at 192 divided by 34. Ooh, that's kind of a tricky one for me. I don't have my 34 times tables memorized. So I'm going to do a little bit of guess and check on the side. If I round 34 to a, a nice easy number like 30, and I round 192 to 200, I think, well, I know that three times six uh, is 18, so 30 times six would be close to 180. Let me see if 34 times six might get me close. So I'm gonna jot this down to the side. You do not need to always do this in your head. Feel free to write this out. I'm gonna multiply six times Four, which is 24 and then 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. Ooh, that's a little too much for my 192 but at least that tells me that I need to put a 5 up on top here because 34 times 6 was too much. I'm going to change this to times 5. Erase my others. There we go and see where that gets me. Five times four is 20, carry that two. Five times three is 15 plus two is 17. Okay, five times 34 is 170. So I'm going to subtract two minus zero, nine minus seven leaves me with 22. I check, yep, that's less than my divisor. I'm good to bring down my next digit. 
223. Again, I need to do a little bit of guess and check here. Maybe I'll round this to a nice friendly number. I remember that 34 times 6 gave me a number that was over 200. That was close. So I think I'm going to try that one again. I remembered that my answer, 6 times 34, gave me 204. So I'm going to write my 204 in here. You, of course, could still multiply off to the side again. If you didn't happen to remember that number in your head, that's okay. Jot it down once more. I'm going to subtract, little regrouping again, and I have Sorry, it's a little tricky to read on the bottom. I have 19 left over. I have no more numbers to bring down. 19 is smaller than my divisor, so I know I did that correctly, but that means 19 is my remainder. So I'm going to write this remainder as a mixed number. A mixed number means a number with a whole number part and a fraction part. So my whole number part is going to be 156. And my mixed number is going to be 19. My remainder becomes the numerator of the fraction. That's the top. And the bottom of the fraction is going to be my divisor, the number that I was dividing by. So 156 and 19 34ths is my final answer. If you wrote it as 156 remainder 19, that's okay too. So here's our steps one more time, fifth grade, the five steps that we repeat again and again in the division algorithm. Sometimes these problems get long. They take a while to work through and we have to guess and check and do lots of things off to the side. But our brain is a muscle and like all muscles in our body, it gets stronger when we do hard things. So if you can embrace the challenge of working through these uh, four digit by two digit division problems, your brain will grow. So I challenge you to keep that in mind this week, fifth grade, as you work through and strengthen your brain in these division problems. We'll work more on this in class. Bye guys.